What's going on everybody? Going Youper here. Today's an awesome day. I'm actually uh, got a few things coming in the mail. Got an unbagging for you. And I got something in the back of the van right now that's going to help out my progress here at Fitz Family Constrictors. I'm super excited about it and I hope if I can find somebody to help me carry it inside the shop, I'll be able to show you that today as well. But today we will definitely be doing an unbagging. I hooked up with something. Now, I'm gonna put a little disclaimer in here. I got something from somebody that had them printed and for whatever reason, Teespring printed something on there that was not part of their design. So, if you happen to order one of these shirts, because I might as well tell you, it's a shirt from these people, you do not have to worry. They have corrected the problem and they keep trying to tell me they want to buy me another shirt. They don't have to because I absolutely love their design and I'll be totally fine with it. I'm just excited it was finally able to get one and um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty awesome. So, but right now, before I get the mail and we do that, I have to go pick up some stuff from work and I have some running around to do. I will not bore you with the running around because it's just going to be boring stuff. But also, I need to order some flex watt for something. I can't tell you that because that's the surprise too at the end of the video. Hopefully, if I can find something to help me carry it in. If you have seen my Instagram, then you probably already know what it is. And that's okay. But I definitely want to put it on video. I'm uh, pretty excited about it. Um, what else is going on? Okay, we have like 16 days until our cruise. Um, pretty excited about that kind of and the reason I say kind of is because there is actually a small chance right at the last minute I will not be able to go and that's going to be heartbreaking but some things take precedence over other things in life and you just got to deal with it and if that's the case and I won't be able to go I will make the best of that situation for sure and keep moving forward and there's always next year that's just how it is sometimes. Sometimes things don't work the way you want them to and it's what you do with it that defines who you are and also defines how you move forward. Um, you know, I'm very Irish and I always say to people, uh, it's all the perspective. Like if I step in dog poop, I'm lucky I had my shoes on. It's all in perspective. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I gotta run by, get the mail, and then uh, I actually have two things coming in the mail today. Uh, one thing you all ain't gonna really care about. Um, it's another piece of clothing, but it's just for uh, the captain's dinner on the cruise that I might not be able to go to. <laughs> you know, um, you know, things happen, and you can tell that it is it is eating me a little bit. But at the same time, you got to do the better good than what you want right that minute. Sometimes you have to do things for a better tomorrow than a better today. And that's going to be what the case will be if I cannot make the cruise. And unfortunately, I will not know until the last minute. Um, I want to say congratulations to Theory Family Balls. He had a clutch the other day, his first clutch the other day. And then all of a sudden, he had another clutch the next day. And uh, I just think that's awesome. So. Congratulations to Theory Family Balls. That's really awesome. I'm waiting on a clutch or two right now. They always make me wait long. And it's never the 25 to 30 days. It's usually like 37 days to 40 days before my girls like to lay. But that's okay. I'm also not the type of person that stresses out waiting for eggs to hatch as I am the type of person that waits for them to be laid. Um, Especially right now, because if I do go on the cruise, I need them to lay before I go. I plan this season out um, around the cruise, and that's another kind of heartache of the situation. That if I can't go, it's gonna it will be kind of upsetting because a lot of my breeding stuff I planned after the cruise because I knew I was going on the cruise and I didn't want any clutches laid while I was away. So I should have one, possibly two. Again, I have one female. Uh, she has not taken a meal for me at all. I did put a mail in with her to try and, and entice her to want to promote to grow follicles, which will sometimes help them want to eat. And that didn't seem to work. And then I came in, in about a month, almost a month ago, and she had a shed in her 
closure. And I thought that was really weird considering she hasn't eaten. I don't know. I do run my humidity almost perfectly. And sometimes, just sometimes, I don't know, you're gonna, I'm gonna get somebody out there that, that isn't the case, that doesn't happen. But I'm just saying that sometimes if you run your, your humidity perfect, maybe even a little high, um, they will shed out of their skin even if they haven't been eating food. Sometimes if they have conditions, uh, maybe uh, sores, bruises, or cuts, or things like that that they're healing from, sometimes that will promote them to shed out. Uh, but I don't think either of those are the case here. I think she might be grabbing. Unfortunately, she is very cantankerous, um, defensive, whatever you want to call it. She's, she's a little nippier than the others, and she does not straighten out when I try to palpate her. She, as soon as I pick her up, she balls up tight, stays that way. She will not crawl out of my hands. She does not get comfortable after a few minutes. She just stays that way. So I haven't been able to palpate her. It would be really helpful. I'm going to try again this evening before I go to work to palpate her and see if there's anything in there. Um, but I highly doubt it's going to work because like I said, she just tightens up and she's not having it. Uh, my girl Liberty, she should very well be laying some eggs sometime in the near future. I think she's about a week to two weeks possibly away. But uh, fingers crossed. So let me get to the mailbox, get this unbagging out, talk to y'all about that, and if I can get my son to come by the shop before I have to go to work to help me unload this thing, I will show you that as well. If not, it will be in the following video. So let's get to it. Something I picked up recently pretty excited about this oh yes DEA exotics Andrew and Becky I got one of their shirts I'm pretty stoked about it is the back love it looks awesome Totally looks awesome. DA Exotics on YouTube. Cool gecko right there in the middle of the badge. Very, very cool shirt. Very cool shirt. Awesome. Alright, so this is my newest pickup. Pretty awesome. Uh, little perk I have working where I work. And this thing is brand new. Now it does say Joe's Bar across the top of it, but I can replace that with a Fitz Family Constrictors. Um, sign so I'm pretty stoked uh, it is an excellent condition um, I don't even know how many tubs I can actually keep in here but I'm sure it's quite a few I just got it in here last night and matter of fact you won't be able to see it because I'm all bandaged up yes a little home doctoring but I took a gigantic gouge on my leg carrying this thing in <laughs> but um, yeah it's awesome so I just have to figure out and I have a little thermostat in there and you can see it's about 79 80 degrees right now with nothing on at all so it will not take much to warm this thing up I'm pretty excited again it is brand new nice light bar inside the door pretty cool pretty cool um, it's still connected for refrigeration and all that and I'll have to try and figure that part out of it I'm hoping I can get the electric uh, disconnect the electric to the compressor down there and just have it for the light and the fan that's something I have to have somebody do my you know because I can't do that myself I'm not good at electrical stuff um, unfortunately I did ding it up a little bit getting it out of storage so I'll try and pound that back but otherwise this thing is brand new excellent condition and it will make a great incubator for fits filling constrictors alright so as you might be able to see inside the snake room there I have a ton of cleaning to do so I'm gonna get going on that before I do that though I am going to clean out tubs and I will videotape that and we'll have a little discussion that will be on tomorrow's vlog I want to thank you all so much for watching my videos and supporting me it means the world to me it truly truly does I've uh, got the pictures up got the Brian Barcheck signed picture up again thank you Josette got the Spartan reptile snake drawing Got the Gray's Reptile Miranda character drawing of myself. Got uh, the Ben Rennick auction plaque made by Spartan Reptiles. Thank you. 
We've got the Molten Bolt Scaleless Rat Snake picture that he sent me. Dude, I so appreciate that. As well as this beautiful artwork that I won from Aldo over at Dark Science Reptiles. Pretty darn cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. Again, thank you everybody so much. Love you all. See me bye.